Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Friday, June 30th, 2023. The main fire potential impacts for the next couple of days are shown here. The big story is the heat that's going to be building into the Great Basin, especially tomorrow and Sunday with uh, Northern Valley highs nearing 100 degrees for the weekend and into the first part of next week. The past 24 hours of precip and lightning is shown here. We did see some thunderstorm activity mainly over Utah yesterday with light amounts of precip. And our fire activity was very light. We had five fires for an acre and a half yesterday. Uh, precip for the past seven days is shown here, uh, the amount on the left and the percent of average on the right. Pretty dry week for Utah and Nevada um, with some higher precip amounts there over Idaho, Wyoming, and portions of northern and western Nevada. This morning's satellite imagery is showing that low, finally moving off to the east, um, just lingering over far eastern Utah today, but will be moving off um, by later this afternoon into tomorrow. And then we see this nice big ridge of high pressure over California that's going to be spreading across the Great Basin for the weekend. This is the system that will be bringing um, the hot and dry conditions to the Great Basin. So again, for this afternoon, by this afternoon, that low has moved off to the east, uh, being replaced by drier, hotter air area-wide, and we don't have any high risk for today. Minimum relative humidities are pretty low today over Nevada and southern and southeast Utah, with higher values further north and east. Uh, some gusty winds, once again, this afternoon are expected over the higher elevations of northern and northeast Utah. Lighter winds elsewhere over Idaho and Nevada. On Saturday, the ridge continues to build in over the Great Basin. Um, there is a little bit of moisture that moves into Idaho, western Wyoming, and part, part of northern Utah for, for a slight um, increase in, in showers and thunderstorms there. But elsewhere, very warm and dry across the south. No high-risk triggers. Temperatures near 100 degrees in western Nevada and up in, even into western Idaho on Saturday. Um, and then again, the... the um, Chances for some precip there over the east central Idaho mountains and into western Wyoming. Maybe an, an isolated storm or two in northern Utah as possible on Saturday. Then on Sunday, um, the heat continues to build into the area, expanding a little bit further eastward. Still no high risk triggers um, with temperatures near 100 degrees across much of the Great Basin in those lower valleys. And the, the minimum relative humidities really decrease as well with. Um, single digits or low teens pretty much across the entire Great Basin except for some of the higher elevations. So pretty rapid um, hot and dry weather pattern moving in by Sunday Monday. Three-day precip totals are shown here pretty light. This is just the precip coming in tomorrow into central Idaho, um, portions of northeast Utah but dry elsewhere. And then on Monday we'll see more heat and generally dry conditions across the area. We could see some winds um, increasing over Nevada on Sunday, or excuse me, on Monday. Um, and then those winds could move into Utah on Tuesday as the center of the low pressure, or center of the high pressure, excuse me, sort of uh, bebops around and moves a little bit further south by midweek. Um, no high risk triggers for those winds just yet. Again, by, by Wednesday, the higher pressure will be located over the southwest U.S. Um, still very warm over the Great Basin, but we'll be backing off those triple digits by midweek next week. And then continued warm, dry, westerly flow into Thursday. Seven-day precip totals um, show the same as the three-day. After, after tomorrow, really, we dry out um, across the entire Great Basin and across the, the, the whole western U.S. is going to be pretty dry. Um, for the next seven days. The extended outlook for July 7th through the 13th keeps warm temperatures in place over most of the basin. We've got this cool bullseye over the northern, over the northern Rockies um, and then below normal precip expected over the southwest and up into the southern half of the Great Basin. Maybe a chance for some storms to continue to move into Idaho and western Wyoming um, for the first half of or that, that second week of July. Kind of a, definitely an interesting weather pattern for the first part of July. And this, con this concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back on Sunday for the latest updates.